Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. July month of grilling continues. It's been going on since 2009. Ten years. Today I'm going to have Chef Mark join me. Well, we're not in the kitchen. We're going to go outside and we're going to convince him to do a um, applewood smoked jerk chicken. You're going to love this one, man. Stay tuned. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. So I told you all I had a special guest in this episode here. And the man himself, Chef Mark. How we doing? I, we good, you know. YouTube, all it good? Tell the man all it good. Well, here's the thing, YouTube. What the challenge was, and you can see Mark is breaking down some chicken here. And the, the challenge to Mark was, Chef Mark, we've got friends coming over. We've got about an hour, an hour and a half before they get here. We've got chicken and we've got some store-bought jerk marinade. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So we're going to go outside. We do have some smoke and fire outside and some nice wood and all that stuff. Right? But for the moment, Mark is just prepping the chicken. What he's done here is cut out the backbone and what's called spatchcock. So he spatchcocked the chicken. Yeah, they're looking like they're dancing. I know people are going to say that, but they're dancing. They're going to be dancing. They're going to be sizzling, not dancing. All right, so what's the next step there, Chef? All right, well, we're going to get into some seasoning right now. Mm -hmm. And um, for the season, we have our run-of-the-mill jerk marinade from uh, a store that we don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. But um, whatever one that you use at home, that would be um, just fine. And to add a bit more body to this, to uh, give it a bit more of uh, emulsification, I'm going to add some olive oil. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea here is to get half a cup, you said, right? That is correct. So we're going to whisk the olive oil together with the jerk marinade, emulsify both of them so they now become one. Mm -hmm. And we've got four chickens that we're going to do in all, so we're going to use half of the marinade for these two and reserve the other half for later on. And the whole idea is just to pour it on and massage it, I guess, right? That is correct. Just give it a little bit of loving. Some here. And since I believe you're using applewood, the, the goal here is not to overpower everything with the jerk marinade either, correct? That's correct. We want the chicken to still speak for itself mm -hmm. and not to go overboard with it. So what I'm doing now is I'm marinating and trying to get the marinade into all of the crevices because we're doing a short marinade right now. Um, companies on the way, they're on the highway, they're about to get here. So we've got to make this thing as seasoned as possible without the time. Now, I notice some people make cuts in their chicken as well. Is cuts really necessary in this case here? Um, not necessarily, because um, when you're grilling, you want to keep all of the juices inside. So any sticking, um, it's not good in my experience. And I think we're about ready to go. Nice. So we're just, we're just going to go ahead and, and prep the other two birds. And then the next time you're going to see us, we're going to be outside playing with fire or the, you know, your boy love a fire. Sounds and, like a plan. And Mr. I've been, I've been living in Georgia and all them places down south, Mr. Mark here. I'm sure he's going to be having a fun time out there. Oh man, I can't wait. So we've got a wicked fire going here. Maple and some lump charcoal. And over here, what do we got here, chef? Oh, over here we've got our wood that we're going to smoke with. This is our apple wood. And we have them soaking overnight mm -hmm. so that, um, it could remove some of the smoke that's within them mm -hmm. and also to slow down the uh, uh, the cooking process so that this wouldn't burn right away. So the wet wood equals smoke basically, right? That's correct. And then I guess you're going to place it onto the fire here? Correct. Doesn't matter where you put it? Um, I like to try to keep some form of uniformity. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move these babies over. And this is our maple, maple, maple. Yeah. So in between, we're going to put our apple lovely and i guess we just wait for it to build up some natural smoke now right yes we're gonna just give them a 15 minutes or so and wait for the magic to happen and get going so we got about 400 degrees fahrenheit there yeah and mm. what chef is doing it's called indirect heat, but we're going at a high indirect heat. So over here is the heat source and the chicken over here. 
and they're oh I say chicken like how my dad says chicken when he kind of intoxicated boy <laughs> but, <laughs> but the birds all spread out there they catch paddle on the grill there chef what do you think in an hour what 15 minutes or something yeah I think an hour and 15 hour and a half at most and um, we're gonna check it at the end make sure everything is safe yeah no safe what what do you mean by safe uh, safe as in making sure that the internal temperature is right but there are quick tricks that you can do to make sure that you're safe and we're gonna show them to you at the end yeah but Internal temperature, you're looking at what, 160, 165? 165 if you've got your uh, internal thermometer, but if you don't, little tricks, we're going to show you at the end. Mm -hmm, no okay. need of thermometer. Perfect. And I assume you're going to be rotating them from time to time closer to the heat source and then making sure everything is nice and, yes. and cooked we're evenly, gonna, right? Correct. We're going to have a bit of a clockwork um, uh, system going here. So these puppies here are getting a lot of heat. We're going to move them over and then these guys are going to come over and do a bit of uh, musical chairs for the next hour or so. Who needs Canada's Wonderland when you got a smoker? That's what I'm saying. It's been going now for about 35 minutes. And we fed one more piece of apple wood into there. But just a look at the outstanding color we're getting. And Chef Mark has already rotated it once double. So the two birds which were here, they're over here now. I don't know if you guys caught that there. So these two were here. They've been flipped a couple times already. So it's been an hour and 20 minutes. And we've maintained the temperature above 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably closer to 425. And the birds are all done now. Fully cooked on the inside. Um... What we're going to do now, the last 10 minutes or so, we're going to sort of baste it now with some barbecue sauce. Totally optional, but it's one of them things there, nice and smoky. We've got those jerk elements in there. We've got the sweetness from the apple wood that we've been smoking with. And, and you know, typically it would have been done with, with pimento wood, but we're in Canada and we're trying to offset the, the bitterness or the spiciness of the jerk with that apple wood. So the next step to sort of complete the balance would be to brush on your favorite barbecue sauce and what chef mark is doing here we're warming up the barbecue sauce it's straight out of the refrigerator but it's in a metal container and he's just working it over the flame to warm it up the last thing you want to do is put cold barbecue on yo you're just gonna spoil the chicken don't do that warm it up a little bit Chef Mark is busy admiring and his admiring his work. Oh. An hour and a half later, perfectly cooked sm applewood smoked jerk chicken with that sweet element near the end there with the barbecue sauce. Chris here, CaribbeanPotter.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. I don't know if you can get Chef Mark. Any last words? Oh man, I'm just so glad to be here. Glad to be able to share the recipe. And uh, one last thing. We didn't add any salt to the recipe because a lot of times the jerk already has some, uh, some salt in it in the marinade. And we're talking about the store-bought jerk marinade, right? Right, store-bought jerk marinade. So yeah. we can add any salt to it, only a little olive oil, and this is what we get. Perfect at the end. Just perfection. Just perfection. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.